the new CSS grids are amazing. And from a designer, not so much of a developer point of view, it break down very, very, very uh, easily uh, how you put down a uh, HTML CSS layout. So see, when we start here, we're just gonna make it a layout like that, which is very flexible and that we can manipulate very easily afterward. So my code is already done. I'm just gonna break it down for you in a few uh, minutes. I'll try. So here I basically have a, a classic wrapper um, uh, HTML layout. So I have my wrapper and my HTML uh, in my HTML and my CSS. I have the first rule, which is display grid, so that my wrapper act like a uh, grid. And then I have this simple rule, grid template columns, which just state quite easily that my first column uh, uh, occupy 10% of my left space, and then I have an auto width, and then I have 10% uh, uh, on my right. And then my grid template area just say that okay so this uh, uh this first here this first column is 10 percent so i'm just going to name that logo and then automatically uh i'll leave this the center to my header and then 10 percent to my navigation here so i have my logo in my uh in my html so i just apply the class to it div class logo then I have my uh, header in the center and I, I let it to header so that my uh, 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 semantic uh, HTML can apply. So see logo 10% on my left, uh, my uh, auto uh, header in the middle, and then my left, my nav, which is 10% of the layout. And then I go with my main, uh, which, which bring me to the, the main content here and uh it's my main in the middle i have nothing on my left and on my right column so i just put a period simply because i want some uh margin here and then my footer just simply said that i want both of my three column to be occupied by the footer you can see it's very nice very sticky uh no problemo giorgio with that uh, so on the css point of view here i have my logo here and i just i'm i i will simply bring back my grid area just to affect uh this zone here this logo zone to my logo uh div here which is a class so i put a period in front of the logo word and then I have my header, which I let to the tag header so that it can act semantically in the HTML. And I say, okay, say so what? Uh, you got my grid area here. You're gonna be the header. So you're gonna be in the middle of my uh, layout simply. On both, of my, uh, on both of my tag, I said that I want both of them to occupy 10% of the screen. So I'll go with 10% vertical high, vertical height work uh fairly good in terms of um i just the, the the layout here so you see it's always 10 percent of the vertical height of my um uh, of my viewport so viewport height here uh and then uh then 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 if i go just to my main content i i just said 80 percent of my vertical height because if i if i if i have nothing here I might have a problem with my sticky footer. My footer won't stick at the bottom of the screen. So if I have no content and my website is not done yet, um, I just I just I just can apply that uh, and at the end I can erase that. And simply my footer here, 10% of the, the, the lower part of the of the page, 10 VH. And what is what is great about having this grid template area like that? as i can change so uh let's say i want to put my navigation on my left i just put a period instead of uh on this column and i just put my nav here and that's it it's done okay my menu is on my uh, left like that so i can i can very easily move stuff around if i uh, want smaller margin on my left and on my right i just apply five percent and then it it uh it, it apply to my uh, to my margin so of course afterwards you just put your content uh, wherever you want it uh, to uh to go so let's say i have some text here i'm just gonna select my text and very uh, uh roughly and i encourage you to do that before you start your website to just 
test with a lot of content to see if it's uh, to see if it's good, to see if uh, you know if 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 your footer is very it's sticky if everything's in place and then uh, for instance here I just I'll just put a lot of text here and I'll go and check and so as my main app content I can just go and erase my um, I can just go and erase my 80% vertical like that I'll just put a lot of content here so that you guys can see what it does see and my foot is just at the bottom and sticky so you know you should always test with some content like that but hey uh, grids are great it's the new thing in css and i encourage you to uh just read about it and look around